Hey everybody, Ty Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well this evening. Now I know that there's severe weather ongoing, most likely at the time I'm shooting this video, but there is something I'm wanting to talk about a little bit later down the line here. Plus I've been a little bit uncertain with the convective mode of today's system. I would say to watch out for North Carolina, but we'll have to see once this video is published as to how things are going there. But that being said, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that share button. Because while, unfortunately, I didn't get home in time to cover anything going on in Florida, we can at the very least talk about what's ahead for this upcoming week here. And it doesn't take long for things to kind of get back into full gear here. And this setup on Monday has really kind of gotten my attention there's been a lot of buzz amongst the weather community about this setup. And after looking at it earlier this afternoon before I shot this video, I kind of agree with this 30% area and I wouldn't be surprised to see this be a big day if this continues to verify as is right now. And then of course the following day we do have a 15% area. This definitely is going to be the remnants of that last storm system. And we could see a little smorgasbord from this one as well. I think both of these days here have the potential for all hazards possible. But day five may actually be a big tornado day potentially. We'll have to see how things pan out. But I'm definitely seeing some signals here that definitely get my attention for sure. Like if you were to akin weather knowledge to spidey senses, they're definitely tingling, not just with me, but with a lot of people but that being said here let's go ahead and actually take a look at what we have going on both now and down the line here this is the upper level wind pattern that we have right now this is our storm system heading out and this is going to be our next troublemaker here this trough comes in and this actually ends up taking a negative tilt bad signal number one Negative tilt usually means for stronger forcing. You can usually get a good moisture pool with this as well. And then on top of that, the wind profile is much more favorable for tornadic activity. So by the time we get late into the evening on Monday, definitely seeing signs with divergence here, indicating a setup for severe weather once more. So literally, and it's ironic because more Oklahoma is in the path of this as well as Oklahoma City and areas around the east of the Oklahoma City metro. Can't even disinclude Kansas at this point. Really, it depends on how far north that warm sector ends up pushing. But like I said, this definitely has the signal for trouble here. You can even see the same thing going on the Euro here within this time frame. And then as we go into the following day, you can see that we have a similar look here at this point i do think this transitions into more of a linear event could be a little bit more of an earlier morning threat but could persist into the afternoon as well but we will lose instability and just overall oomph when it comes to the storms as we get later into the day for tuesday heading into wednesday Eventually this storm system rolls out of here and then after that it looks like the weather pattern kind of takes a calmer turn for a bit here Still could be some isolated chances for severe storms, but not any Major league setups that we'll have to deal with until we get towards the end of this model run here for the GFS But even so the fact that we're seeing what we're seeing on Monday is definitely cause for some concern I'm not one to really hype up setups here, but I've seen some setups like this in years past and usually when you get something like this and it verify and if it verifies it could be a problem and this is in an area however that is very much used to this so I'm counting on you guys in Oklahoma you know what to do but I will be intending to be live on Monday and potentially Tuesday as well if needed so actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this setup on this particular period of time as we look at the different level of the atmosphere here. This is looking at the 700 millibar region. We're looking for a short wave and it's pretty easy to spot. 
It's literally right in front of our faces here. It's this little ripple right here. There's actually several of them, if I'm being honest. So that's a sign of things to come there. And then if we look at that low level jet and the main thing that we're going to be focusing on is remembering that for one, our ones in the upper levels of the atmosphere, they're going to be blowing in a motion a little bit more akin to a westerly motion. And then if you scroll down to the south here while I fix my abysmal arrow here, you'll see the north to south or yet yeah, the south to north motion, excuse me, that comes into play here. And where these two areas are likely to meet up right here. So like I said, I I got a feeling that if things verify here, it could be a big, big day. Conditions definitely look like they are coming together here for sure. So next thing we'll go ahead and do is look at our moisture return here. We'll also get a sneak peek of what that moist of what that uh, warm sector will be like as well, coinciding with that moist sector. This is our current picture, of course, right now. And then look what happens as we get into Saturday. We already start to get a moisture return well out in advance. And like I said, it's usually when you get the moisture to build well out in advance of a storm system like this, like what we're expecting on Monday, when the alarm bells kind of start going off in the head of a lot of meteorologists and weather enthusiasts alike. So seeing this right here, this really impressive moisture pool right here, out ahead of that storm system and this little gradient right here where we could get those 50 60 degree dew points and then right behind where this eventual dry line is likely to set up we end up getting 30 degree dew points pretty strong gradient point for lift drop it's going to be a boundary there for sure so that's going to help with our lift so just from looking at these handful of maps that we've just looked at we've already checked off three of the boxes and then also looking at the temperature map here in the corner coinciding along with these dew points that warm sector we checked off the four box essentially already with instability so main thing that you look for with severe weather are four basically almost is the acronym slim shear lift instability moisture and through the four maps what i guess you would say five maps that we just looked at here we've pretty much verified all that we needed to from a basic standpoint as we get further into range here we're going to get a much more in-depth look at these storm systems here from this point but this is what our simulated radar could look like beyond what we're dealing with right now actually could see some lake effect snow come into play here right over towards the pennsylvania new york new york line and then after that point this is where we start to see the big one come in. Start to see storms fire early in the day. This will be just after lunchtime for central time here. And then as we continue to go forward, we eventually see a linear mode develop, a very broad linear mode at that. And we could see a couple of different rounds of storms over here towards the Ohio Valley and the deep south here. And then after that, of course, we get into a much more fair weather pattern after that point. We do actually have potential for maybe a couple of wintry systems to even sneak in here as we get towards the back half of April here. Could see a couple of Florida systems, of course, with the time frame that we're looking at right now. Kind of a no man's land look, if you will. We'll just have to see if those end up verifying. But then after that, eventually, as we move forward, we see a signal for a really big line of storms as we get towards the end of April. I have to see if this verifies because we're over 300 hours out, of course. But like I said, signals there for some really dangerous weather potentially in regards to this upcoming Monday and maybe even Tuesday as well. So that being said, make sure you're staying weather aware. Make sure you hit that like button on this channel to get updates as well as hit that bell if you're new around here also make sure you hit that subscribe button to go along with that so you can be notified of every video but that being said you guys have a good night i will see you again soon most likely be this weekend till then it's been tire metalhead weatherman you guys take care have a good night